Hello folks, I am Georgios Papadopoulos and welcome to this video on binary exponential back of algorithm example when employed in pure Aloha Mac protocol for collision resolution use case. Let us assume two nodes A and B in a wireless network that run pure Aloha where the transmission time is continuous, are at maximum of 1200 km apart and the signals propagate at a speed of light inert. Now, based on the scenario, let's compute the waiting back of time TB values for retransmission attempts C equal to 1, 2 and 3. Well, to obtain the waiting back of time for each transmitter, first we need to calculate the propagation time for this scenario. A parenthesis here to remind you that the amount of time that it takes for the head of the signal to propagate from one end of the shared medium to the other is called the propagation time or TP. The propagation time can be obtained from the distance between two nodes and the propagation speed as it can be seen here. If we apply the values of these parameters, we obtain 4 milliseconds for the propagation time. In the second step, we select the random number r between 0 and 2 power of c minus 1. Thus, for the first retransmission attempt, where c is equal to 1, the possible values for r are either 0 or 1. Now that we have calculated the propagation time and defined the range of the random number r, we can compute the waiting back of time tb for different values of c. Based on the outcome of the random variable r after the first collision, each transmitter will wait for either 0 or 4 milliseconds. If the first retransmission was not successful, the two transmitters will have to retry again, and in this case the C variable will increase by 1 and will be equal to 2 and thus the new range is now from 0 to 3. As a result, based on the outcome of the random value R, after the second collision each transmitter will wait for either 0, 4, 8 or 12 milliseconds. Finally, if the second retransmission was not successful either, then the two transmitters will have to retry for the third time. The C variable will be equal to 3, and thus the new range will be from 0 to 7. Consequently, based on the outcome of the random variable R, after the third collision, each transmitter will wait for either 0, 4, 8, and so on, till 28 milliseconds. Last but not least, note that when C becomes larger than C max, where C max is configurable parameter, then the frame is dropped. And that's all folks on binary exponential back of algorithm example when employed in pure Aloha Mac protocol for collision resolution use case.